Well, it's officially fall inside at least my house. Here we are in September in Virginia, and I am bringing fall here early, as you can see with that entire little intro that I made. Today's video is gonna be a really quick video just going over how to edit trending TikToks in Premiere Pro, or if you don't have Premiere Pro, in the free app CapCut. Because this is a travel and outdoor page, of course, we're gonna take it from that aspect. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and jump into the computer and get this edit going. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. I already went ahead and downloaded the video from TikTok that I'm gonna use for this tutorial. And I set up the footage and the photos I'm gonna to use to edit along with. Once you have all your content in the project panel in Premiere Pro, take the TikTok or real video and let's go ahead and put that on the time timeline. I'm gonna go ahead and expand my timeline this just allows me to see where the beats hit and everything like that so I can match it up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the footage. And here I have my drone shot. And then I'm gonna take my photos And I'm all gonna put this above the main video source that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna click the little I button, make that go away. I can be the only one who hears you. Now if the video you downloaded doesn't have their photos and their clips match up with the beat, go ahead and use the arrow keys to match it up with the actual beat drops. If the video and photos do match up, go ahead and use the, the left right arrow keys going frame by frame. And you can actually just see when the photos and when the videos change, and then just make a cut right there using the C tool. And just go one by one, making your cuts. Hit the V button on the keyboard to go back to your regular uh, cursor tool. Go ahead and unclick uh, the I button so we can see everything. And now we're gonna go ahead and scale everything up for the TikTok ratio or IG ratio, whichever you're making the video for, probably both. So I'm gonna drag this out, move this where it needs to be. That's where I want the video to end. Put that there and now we have, boom. There we go. Now the photos I'm using are Photoshop exports, so they're large files. So I'm gonna to have to resize all of those, but I only need to do one and I'll show you what I mean. You can see here how blown up the image is. We're gonna go into effect controls. I already know how to resize it. So we're gonna do 57, and then I'm gonna click on motion, control, copy, and then I'm gonna paste that onto all of the other photos. 
and then I'm gonna drag those there. And now it's just a matter of resizing them. There we don't have it. See this this one isn't filled in enough. So I'm fill that one in. And this one is too much still, so we're gonna bring this one back down. So maybe not once. But if you export everything in Photoshop as four by five, it shouldn't really make a, a huge difference. You should be able to get through all the photos in, with the way that I showed you. And maybe just having to readjust a couple like I just had to do. And now you're ready to export. For the export settings that I use for TikTok and Instagram Reels, you can go ahead and actually click the link somewhere wherever it pops up here to watch that video. Um, the best export settings that I have found for those social media platforms. Now, let's go ahead and jump into CapCut. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up CapCut. New project. All right, this is the video that we're gonna use. Now let's go ahead and add a sound. So what we wanna do is click Extracted. And we want to extract it from the TikTok or reel that we downloaded. I can't be the only one and same thing. So now we need to edit this. And we're just lining it up. So this right here, you can see where the beat drops. And I just lost my light like I do almost every video. All right, that sound looks pretty good. I'm gonna make sure we mute our one clip. Get rid of this little cap cut thing at the end. All right, now let's go ahead and add our photos. And 
And don't forget to change your format. We want this 9x16. And go ahead and adjust each of the photos. Now we have to line them up to the beat here. So I'm gonna go through and do this one real quick with both hands. Well, that's it for that edit. Of course, I could have fine-tuned it and spent some time matching it to the beat a little bit better, but this is a tutorial. I'll link my actual video that you can see in the description below, as well as another video that was posted on TikTok where you can go in and play with the animation features and the transition features in TikTok itself, and you can see what those do. So if you don't have Premiere Pro or Adobe Rush, which is Premiere Pro's editing app, you can go ahead and download CapCut for free and play around with it and create videos and hopefully put out some great content without having to spend too much money. Other than that, if you found any information in this video helpful, go ahead and give this video a like. If you like content like this, go ahead and subscribe, help the channel grow. It does mean a lot here. Other than that, if you have any information that you found that you could add on to this video, be sure to drop it in the comment section below. If there's any tutorials that you'd like to see or questions that you still have, drop those in the comment section below also and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, thank you guys for stopping by. Stay wild. I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep on adventuring and all that other stuff. I'm gonna talk myself off screen now. You just keep, keep doing you. I'm gonna keep doing me. Goodbye.